That's how our love faded. These, I say happy Valentine's, my love. Little did I know that they were all lies. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Bunta Aras again. If you're new here, welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, you're such a darling. Thank you so much for coming back to watch me. Thank you for tapping that notification bell for those who tapped it. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Do tap that bell, that notification bell. So that whenever I upload any video, any shots, any live, you're gonna get a notification. You're going to watch me. You can see by the title of this video, it's gonna be a main story on how I was checked, on how my boyfriend left me. My boyfriend? No. My ex little boyfriend back then left me on Valentine's Day. First of all, by the disclaimer, I'm not good at telling stories. I'm not good. So you'll excuse me. We're going to call this guy Toto. Let me give him a name of Toto. I won't say his name. Because I know some of my classmates I used to be with or my schoolmates. If I say the name, they will know. And, you know, they will talk. As though it's happening right now they will laugh at me and they'll make fun out of it so i'm going to call him Toto. so Toto guy i was in form four he came in form five you know form five some st new students are coming in school many guys came in many girls come in, came in so those people that's that guy Toto. Toto was cute he was handsome he was brown so i knew this guy through a friend a friend was a girl so they were friends with Toto. let me call a lady uh grace grace knew Toto. they were tribe mates oh god they're gonna know him but yeah that's it so that girl introduced introduced me as a friend you know so the guy liked me we started being as friends we became friends we started talking you no know, he treated me like a little sister he cared and i was feeling good you know who doesn't want to be cared about he started caring so like went on alone we started dating mm-hmm Time went on, we were dating, he used to care. I was in boarding section, he wasn't. And he would care about me when I get sick. He would show that caring thing, the lovey dovey thing. He would bring for me eats, <laughs> drinks, give me money. I mean, what else would you need in that age? All we know, all we knew about dating was bringing nice gifts, eat, drinks, talk, chill around. That's what we knew. So, time came. He went to Form 6. I went to Form 5. But in Form, those years, yeah, those, were, those years weren't that, that, that nice. I mean, let me say. So, my friends used to tell me, Vanessa, that guy is cheating on you. He's dating some other girls, probably in his classroom. There was it some girls in his class, and some other girls in in your very class. Can you imagine? I didn't want to believe that. It was hurting. You know, I couldn't fight for a boy. I couldn't do what. So I spoke to him, like, "Hey, what's up?" I had this and this. Is it true? I was like, no. And on top of that, he was dating. He dated that friend of mine called that Grace. Did I call her Grace? Yeah, Grace. They were dating as well. I don't know, but they said they were dating. Up to date. I have no, I have no proof that they used to date. But that, I had no proof, so I didn't really confirm. And by then, I was young. I mean... I had nothing much to talk about. I didn't know much about relationships. 
that I'm going to confront that guy, why are you cheating on me or what? And I didn't know what really being in love was. To me, I was like, it's a good feeling. I knew love was caring, was caring. caring. Hey, Benta, have you eaten? Have you done this? Are you fine? Like, that's what I knew. I really, I didn't think that I had those strong, strong feelings to really start feeling so much jealous that my guy is cheating. That's how young I was. And besides, I used to fear coupling. <laughs> In school, if they caught you coupling, then you are dead. And they called your parent that this one was coupling or was caught doing those relationship stuff with boys and girls. If they called your parent that you are caught in those dating things, you are going to be ashamed in front of everyone. Oh my God. Oh. So, um, time went on. This guy went out of school. Yeah, he was done with his form six. I was going in my form six. So we started talking on phone. I would get time, get a phone, you know, weekends. Those uh, students who's, who use not to be in boarding section, they would come in to study during weekends, but come with phones. So I would get for a phone, be talking to him. Hey, Toto, how are you? How are you feeling? I miss you here. I miss you a little caring. Don't talk. Then I'd start, you know, those stories. But would you still love me when you go, when you're that side, you go and I don't see you, I don't see what So I was like, you're not near me, I don't see what you do. And they say when guys go to university, they get some of the, some of the new girls who probably, who are cute, uh, who play their hair, who apply lipsticks, who are more intelligent. They put on nice clothes and for us, we just, we're just raising uniforms. And besides, you want to get time to become semi. And I'm like, this, that's what I knew because that's what they used to say. Guys, when they go to university, girl, you're long gone. High school, who dates you? Who dates you? And that was right. So we used to talk and talk and talk. Yeah, After having school parties or whatever they, were, they called reunions. They used to come in to have those meetings and gathering up. So I would see him. So I would, I would talk to him during that time. But obvious case, of course. Um, as time went on, I started losing. You know, when someone is not there, and you really don't know what a relationship or love is, or when you're not more educated, or you're not more certain about that, you feel like you're losing, you don't feel more of him. When time, as time was moving, you know, I started feeling like, I don't really, really miss him as I used to do. As, I mean, I think you get, like, you, you're not fond of him, even if he's not there, I mean, you're not bothered. Even if you don't talk, you're not bothered. So one time came, it was a Valentine's Day. Yeah, it was Valentine's Day. I called him. <laughs> I called him. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So when I used to say that they say when you guys go to campus, you forget about those little girls you have in your high school, you've left there. So I would say... No, you know, you're the only one I'll have forever. <laughs> you're the only one. I'll be waiting for you all these years till you get done with high school. <laughs> mm -hmm. Little did I know that they were all lies. They were all lies. He used to lie. Probably making you comfortable. He knows that you want to follow him up because you're in school, you have no phone, you have no one to consult to, you want to see his moves. But which was okay. I mean, it wasn't a serious thing. It wasn't a serious thing. And it was fine that way. So the time came. It was Valentine. You know, everyone was like, I'm going to call my boyfriend. People had relationships, their boyfriends around school. So the loves of me, the young me, <laughs> the ignorant me was like, ignorant. 
I really don't know. I was like, I need to call my boyfriend. I need to check on him. And remember, I told you my feelings were less those times. I wasn't. I was like, I was fine. Even if I talk to him or not, I was fine. I didn't feel more of him. But I was like, let me just call him and see and check on him. And say, happy Valentine's, my love. I say, happy Valentine's, my love. <laughs> <laughs> so I called, we talked, we talked, we talked, we talked. It's like, we talked, we talked, we talked. So I was like, I love you so much. I miss you here. You know those talks as they should be. And the guy was like, Bene Bonita, I was meaning to tell you something. I was like, what? Tell me, you know, you can tell me anything. It's like, do you know how he used to say that when we get out of high school, we go to university, we'll probably forget you and get some other girls or go to other relationships? I was like, yeah, did you get anyone? I feel like, did you get anyone? I was really so curious why he was saying that. I was like, did you get in one? He was like, probably no, but I just want to point out some things. So he was like, you know, you're still young. You're still in school. You have to concentrate. I was in form six, preparing for my exams. Prepare, probably you have to concentrate, read your books. And you know, ever since I got out, you're so worried about me getting another girl, getting into another relationship, probably forgetting you. That is stress. I feel like you're going to be overstressed thinking about what I'm doing and you don't concentrate or prepare for your exams. Oh, in my head, I was like, in my heart, in my mind, I was like, is this guy going to dump me? <laughs> <laughs> he said. So I feel like me being as mature, a bit older than you, I have to let you concentrate, study, and let everyone move on. Let everyone move on. I was like, what do you mean? Move on, like, I can't go. So I tried it. I tried talking. I mean, showing him that I'm, I'm, I'm going to concentrate. It's like, I read. I'm going to concentrate. That can't stop me from, from reading my books. Obvious case, I won't, I won't tell you those words again. I won't be suspecting you again. You know, fighting for every little relationships. You don't know that. You know that. Who was it mine? <laughs> Who would ever be mine? I feel like that was really, that was bound to happen. So I was like, he said, I want to leave you, concentrate, uh, let everyone move on. I think he would he had gotten a girl. Not even getting, he had a girl. I don't know. I don't know what what was transpiring. It's like, I want to leave you, concentrate your, in your books, study hard. In this case, I'll be praying for you. I'll be checking on you, but I want us to be friends. Mm. I want us to stay friends. I mean, nothing's going to change just because we are no longer going to be together. <laughs> <laughs> we are no longer going to be together, but we're going to be friends. That's like, let's, let's, <laughs> we're going to be friends, but. Let's minimize our the, 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 let's minimize our communication. Concentrate on books. I want you to pass. I want you to concentrate on books. So all in all, I was like, let's part ways. We shall be friends, but friends for where? I mean, all in all, I was like, let's be friends. I want you to concentrate on books. I want you to be a good girl, study, you know, blah, 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 to make me feel comfortable. But, Matthew, as I, I had told you, my feelings were already down. I wouldn't mind whether he checked me or not because I would be there even if he was a turn. But it's because of that day, I was like, let me check on him, let me call him, let me see what he's, uh, what he's up to. 
what he's I mean, just okay. So that's the day that my high school boyfriend I had chucked me or left me. Fine, I did have his feelings. I didn't feel like that love by then. It had decreased. But I felt a little bit hurt. I was like, I couldn't believe it. In my head, I was like, I wish I didn't, I didn't make this call. I wish I didn't make this call because it just made my day so bad. I felt so bad. I was hurt, like for about, I don't know even why I was hurt. <laughs> just being chuffed. So I was hurt like, like for two days, just thinking, oh my God, what happened? What? I, I did as you know so when i went out of high school we started sometimes talking i don't know where he got my number oh we talked we used to talk he tried coming back but i couldn't because those feelings were no longer there and I had i had someone and really by then i knew what relationship was i knew what having a lover was what it meant what caring and being there for someone was so i couldn't go back to my ex just because i'm now out of school you feel me? So I said we were kind of friends, but still the that engagement wasn't so tight. We still found out. Oh, okay, the communication wasn't good. We're like, hey, hello, how's it doing? What, 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 what? But as you know, friends say, but we didn't get back together. So that's how my boyfriend chat me on Valentine's Day. Yeah, we come to an end of this video of this mini story again i'm not good at story time or storytelling but please try to understand my story try to understand my story please comment down below what what's your take what would you do if you're in my shoes what would you do if you're in that guy's shoes i mean what do you learn in all this what do you perceive? Was it the right thing to dump me on Valentine's Day or it wasn't right? Did Were his reasons valid? Like him leaving me because he wanted me to concentrate or it was a lie or it was just a setup? I don't know. What was it? What do you think? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me in the comment section. The most important thing, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please tap that notification bell so that whenever I upload any video, you're going to be getting notified. You're going to get a notification. Benita Aura has uploaded another video. So guys, take care. Be safe. Let 2023 be a blessing to you. Get peace. Get love. Be happy. Avoid bad vibes. Bad people. Wrong vibes. Push them away. That's how our love faded. These are dry flowers, meaning love was dead.